Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 61 of my Project Ozone 3 Titan Mode playthrough. Last episode, we completed the Tome of Knowledge for Project E and unlocked the forbidden fruit that lie within. Well, basically, we unlocked every single item with EMC, whether we'd crafted, uh, crafted it in the past or not, and seen it in the past or not. This episode, I'm going to continue with a bit of quest book cleanup and uh, try and tidy a few things up before we start diving into uh, the final tier of quests to make the... Well, I guess the penultimate, the second to last tier of quests to make the creative items. So, if you remember last time, we had the Abyssal Knight gear. We need some Dreadlands Essence. Uh, we'll need four in total, along with the Dreaded Shards of Abyssal Knight. <coughs> so, we're going to pull out our good old Staff of Rending. And head to Abyssalcraft's Dreadlands. We'll need four Dreadlands Essence to complete this craft. Um, and afterwards, uh, we will need refined Corallium. Radium or a nitride. So yeah, this should just be the single craft required. Uh, there is a branch, so at the dreaded Abyssal Knight boots, um, you can see you can upgrade them to refined Corallium and then continue down the <coughs> high-tech workbench crafting line. But we can also create the boots of the depths, um, but they are a dead end, so we're not going to do that. So it looks like all I need are some Dreadlands Essence, uh, Dread, yeah. So let's pull out the old staff and find stuff to right click on. We get energy pretty quickly with this thing, which is very nice. If only there were things that we could drain. So that's our first Dreadlands Essence. Oh good, we've got a bunch of demon cows. That would be nice. This should lead to a second one. Yep. Oops, some dread spawns. Third one, if we can get a nice big group of enemies to spawn, that should be a fourth. Oh. It appears I can right click these guys, but uh, they uh, they don't want to be rendered, they just burn me instead. There we go. Alright, we'll head back to spawn. So that is the four Dreadlands Essence and I needed Dreaded Shards of Abyssal Knight. Let's go to my Abyssalcraft Overworld section. And do I need to be anywhere in particular? So I do need to be in the Dreadlands to complete this craft. So I'll grab my Nomicon and go to the Dreadlands. So, a helmet in the center, essence, and dreaded shards. Do I need some sort of sacrifice? No, I don't. And the potential energy required is tiny. So, next up are the boots. And this is basically the reason they snuck this one in, is just to make sure that um, 
before you continue down the questing chain you have actually uh, gotten far enough in a specific mod. Uh, it, basically it's a gating. It's the, the reason why the rest of the armor isn't created using um, using the ritual altars is just because it wanted to make sure you've reached the dreadlands in abyssal craft before you can continue down that armor crafting chain. go and that should trigger request completion. Wait, with the dreaded abyssal night stuff, is that like not where I was meant to go? Did I did I did I do an oopsie? Find Coralia. No it was, there's just no um, part in the book for them, so <clears throat> Back to spawn we go. You go there, you go there, you go there. Pop you back into storage. Uh, let's go back to the overworld area and put you back on charge. So, refined Corallium into Dreadium. Ooh, Cubic Bore and Nitride. Okay. <coughs> so, this is where we're going to have a little bit of air quotes fun. If I remember correctly, the Cubic Bore and Nitride was a bit of a nuclear craft rabbit hole. So, cubic moron nitride is made um, in the pressurizer, and I need hexagonal boron nitride. Hexagonal boron nitride I create in the crystallizer by crystallizing a boron nitride solution. Boron nitride solution is a mixture of boric acid and ammonia. Boric acid is a mixture of diabrine, uh, diabrine and water. Diabrine is a mixture of molten boron and high liquid hydrogen. I can get liquid hydrogen from an electrolyzer or from a chemical reactor. No, probably not. Probably the electrolyzer. Uh, so yeah, you can see this is going to be a huge rabbit hole. And huge rabbit holes dictate decide that I need cobblestone. Let's go to my favorite cobblestone bricks. Uh, building gadget. I will need an area with which to apply my trade. So let's start at the very top. I at the very least need a pressurizer. Ah, uh, advanced plating, basic plating, lead ingot and graphite dust. Let's grab some graphite. As I suspect I will be needing a fair few bits of graphite dust. And if I'm honest with you, this will be the first time that nuclear craft is actually sort of flat out utilized in the mod pack. Okay, 
so we'll create a stack of basic placing <coughs> pardon me pressurizer this four of these so pressurizer obtained and we'll place you down mm -mm. cubic boron nitride so uh, in fact let's start with cubic boron nitride because that's what I have to make cubic boron nitride this uh, so this questing line reminds me a lot of factorio uh, definitely reminds me a lot of factorio so I need a crystallizer A lot of complicated micro crafting only this doesn't have the infrastructure to really support it if I'm honest with you so whatever comes out of the crystallizer will go into here so I will need to crystallize boron nitride solution boron nitride solution I've got two options hexagonal boron nitride nope I'm not gonna be able to make that on its own Chemical reactor, boric acid with ammonia. Boric acid and ammonia. So let's start with ammonia. Liquid nitrogen and hydrogen gas. So nitrogen and hydrogen make ammonia. And a chemical reactor. So let's place the chemical reactor up here. This will be one of the inputs into No, the yeah, the chemical reactor will be the input. Um so boron nitride is made in the chemical reactor. Ammonia is made in a chemical reactor. Uh, let's just make let's just make all the advanced plating that I can. There we go. So the chemical reactor can go up here, and one of the inputs will go into here. Um, cubic boron nitride. This we track it back to boron nitride solution, and track that back down to the chemical ammonia. So I need hydrogen and nitrogen some form of hydrogen I can condensate hydrogen into liquid hydrogen or galactocraft hydrogen gas uh, I can get hydrogen gas from water in a nuclear craft electrolyzer <coughs> so let's create an electrolyzer and you will be filled with water so mm -hmm. that one is done uh the nuclear craft speed up yes that'll do me so i'll just just take a couple of stacks out I'll put eight speed upgrades in each of these machines in preparation for when I eventually use them. Uh, okay, so let's at least get this running. So we need an uh, ender. Vector coil. The electrolyzer is powered. There is water in it. Using some RF a tick. Using eight thousand. 18, 20, 48. So that is using the full amount of power that my Ender Spectre coil can pump into it. It's perfect. 
So we're creating hydrogen, uh, deuterium, and oxygen. I am going to say I have a fluid trash can. And pressurized ender fluid conduits, ender, ender fluid conduits. Right, I want to say for side configuration for hydrogen output on the right and okay, uh, void excess. Void excess, void excess, void excess. So that is much better. Okay, so I can void any excess I get of oxygen and deuterium. I can extract my hydrogen into the chemical reactor, but I don't want to extract my oxygen. Uh, oh, right, so uh, I haven't undone the oxygen deuterium. So the only output I've got is hydrogen gas into my chemical reactor. I will need something else in this chemical reactor. I will need... Um, let's track it back. This will be pretty much an entire episode dedicated to nuclear craft. Boron nitride, ammonia is a mixture of hydrogen and some form of nitrogen. Uh, nitrogen gas. Nuclear craft can collect nitrogen using a nitrogen collector. Normal. Super and then super super. Okay. Well, let's make a bunch more platings. Oh, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, beryllium, which means I need beryllium dust, and I get beryllium dust from rock crushing. Andesite. Rock Crusher. Thirty one is the perfect number, so and a spectre coil. And a site. Um, I can smelt that down, and can I like can I do a crushing loop? Um, uses pulverizer. Yep. So I can do a crushing loop to duplicate it. So we'll just quickly do that. Beryllium. Meanwhile, there's more beryllium being made, so we can go over here and add this all together. So I'm at least mildly satisfied with this. So nitrogen collector, let's make um, 80, let's make eight of them. And then we will upgrade them into a big old compact nitrogen generator. So chemical reactor has... Uh, in fact, will it just pump push in nitrogen? Yes, it will. Although... Input back. 
there we go so nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas 800 RF a tick or thousand five nine oh wow so this one doesn't use a lot of power at all 14 16 19 20 there we go that will do <coughs> so this will create my ammonia So my chemical reactor now has one dose of ammonia. Time to go back to cubic boron nitride. Uh, hexagonal from boron nitride solution. So we have the ammonia and now we want the boric acid. So I need to mix water and diborane. Uh, in a chemical reactor. So let's get a chemical reactor. And we will have a measure of water. Twenty forty eight. Thirty one twenty forty eight crystallizer and you will probably be the same. Oh no you won't. You take far fewer upgrades to saturate my limited power generation. So that is good. So we have this and I need let's go back down the rabbit hole. Boric acid Diborane. Ah, diborane. So diborane is a mix of hydrogen and molten boron. Hydrogen I can get from an electrolyzer. Let's pop you here and set you up. 15 speed upgrades. And the spectre coil. Don't output anything other than this. And avoid. Okay, good. So, uh, hydrogen will want to be extracted and inserted. Is it water and hydrogen? Am I just being retarded? I think I'm being retarded. Yep, 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 yep. I'm being retarded. I'll deal with that in a sec. Uh, yeah, I had a massive brain fart. Totally forgotten where I was in the crafting. So, boron nitrous. So, I've got my ammonia. I need my boric acid. Boric acid is a mixture of water and diborane. So this is the water. Diborane is a chemical reactor mixture of hydrogen and boron. So I need a chemical reactor again. And pop the electrolyzer or whatever somewhere here. Void excess, void excess, void excess, void excess. 34, nope, 17, nope, 14, 15, 15 speed upgrades, this. So you should be getting, this kicks into gear, there we go. Yep, 
you should be getting the hydrogen gas. You should be if I actually set you up properly. Um, don't output, yeah, output where if you want. Okay, perfect. Extract, but don't insert. Uh, insert, but don't extract. So you get the hydrogen gas, and then I need the, was it molten boron? Boron nitride, boric acid, <coughs> water diborane. So you're water diborane and you are hydrogen and molten boron. So molten boron I can melt down ordinary boron. Melter nuclear craft. Okay, so that's good. You get a hat, you get a hat, you get a hat, and let's make some more vector coils. Just make a hundred and like be done with it. Yeah. So you, I will want to melt down um, boron ingots. Then we will fit the molten boron. Into here, you will mash together. To create diborane, uh, diborane, diborane, whatever, diborane, we will extract and insert the diborane, and that gets mixed to make boric acid and spare hydrogen gas. Um, don't output and void excess. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that is fine. This only has one output, ammonia, boric acid, hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas definitely cannot be output. Uh, in fact, you know what, don't void excess, just... Mm. Okay, yeah. Right, I shouldn't have said it to void excess. Anyway, um, so we insert U into here, extract, insert, and you're a mix of ammonia and boric acid. You are creating water and boron nitride solution. Um, Void excess for water, or on a nitride solution, it will come out and be crystallized. Perfect. The hexagonal boron nitride, uh, let's find the uses. Be enriched into or nitride solution again. Nope, don't care. And I need a Conduit for items, extract, insert, and we are able to process cubic boron and nitride. So, <coughs> pardon me, let's melt down more boron ingots. You are not generating the most hydrogen gas in the world, but it will do. And 
one hydrogen. Ooh, 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 you need hydrogen gas. So let's have a bit of fun. Hydrogen gas left side output. You don't do anything on the left side. Channel brown extract. Insert green. And you know what? Let's pop that here then and then oh, bugger, don't do that. Uh let's power you from the front. And you are insert brown. So the hydrogen from the chemical reactor can be recycled back into the other chemical reactor. <laughs> By boring molten boron, molten boron is coming out very slowly. By boring goes in here, mixture of water and ah, okay, there we go, and diborane. And that brings out more hydrogen gas. So this is a very, very nice self-sustaining sort of reaction that goes a lot faster. I'm up to 12 cubic. Boric acid is in good amounts. There we go. And that is now making as fast as it can. You are low on hydrogen, and there is no additional sort of hydrogen style byproduct. Uh, this chemical reactor is also high on hydrogen gas. So you are a mixture of hydrogen and nitrogen. Let me. Okay, so if we run through here, we can also say insert on brown. So all of the hydrogen gas is coming out and being recycled into both the chemical reactor for diborane and the chemical reactor for ammonia. And we are almost at the stage where we have enough. I think 54 is enough. So let's give it a shot. My cobble. Give me back my cobblestone. Okay, let us give this clear out the crafting grid as well a shot. Perfect. So that is the next portion triggered. A little bit of nuclear craft, just uh, working out the logistics of it. Um, And we've reached a checkpoint of sorts, as we now have the infused lava armor, which we can pull out at will using EMC. So if we screw up at any point here, we just need to go back to infused lava. Dredium plate. We've never made it, I've never seen it before, but it's a thing that has EMC attached to it. Ethaxium. Guardian scale. This guardian scale is why we even set up the mob farm in a deep ocean biome to begin with. It turns out we didn't need it because we can just EMC them. <laughs> there we go, that part is triggered and the Aphaxium level. And 
onwards to the Guardian level. So, after Guardian comes with a bone. <coughs> and the, actually, the Superstar set already has its own, so. Uh, but Superstar, Fiery, Ingot, Corellium Plate. Corellium Plate, and you can see the power of the um, link between Applied Energistics and Project E coming in handy. Uh, items that I've never seen before, items that I've never created, I'm able to just pull out at will. And these, uh, this is the reward for um, all of your hard work through the rest of the mod pack combined. <coughs> so, Plated Corellium, uh, Refined Obsidian. Ender Dragon Scale, and that is the end of that. Okay, so we are now reaching the point where we can have some nice ludicrous broken armor. So the next upgrade tier requires the um, Ultitech bench. So we'll just pull one of those out. In case you're wondering, the recipe for it requires a bunch of stuff and previous workbenches and so on and so forth. I'm oh, sorry. Um, yeah, the previous workbenches, some ultimate materials, which are just stuff. And yeah, I I I've completely bypassed it because because being broken is fun. Inferium ingots, okay. Right, let's let's calculate. I'm gonna make uh let's say 128 inferium ingots, two stacks. Uh don't sort by number, just sort by uh, mod. Probably easier. So. <laughs> uh, I only need, need friggin' armor core. Uh, yeah, so I can only make fertilization cores, so I've got to teach it how to make armor cores. One armor core, two armor cores, three armor cores, four armor cores, and everything else he has EMC values as well, five armor cores. So I will need four of these and I will now be able to see just how many ingots I need. So I pulled out two stacks and I used 128 minus 26, 102. I used a hundred and two Uh, not Project E, at Mystical Agriculture. So are they at the bottom? Yes, they are. Um, let's start at the top then. I need 102 of you. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll do the armor core and then the ingot. So, three of you. Um, next up, blue armor cores for and 
two, hoping my maths is correct. Green armor cores. One hundred and two of these. And four of you. And a hundred and two of you. So I'm hoping that this will smash through the mystical agriculture tier. Dentium. Perfect. Intermedium. Superium. And Supremium. Okay, uh, Champion Bench. I'll have to make that one manually, it seems. Uh, next up is Dark Matter. Okay. Champion Bench is Compressed Netherrack. That ordinary tiny progressions, uh, EU2 compressed netherrack, extra utility 2 compressed netherrack, uh, ultimate material, infused lava crystal, I'll get some orange dye. Ulti, high tech, and uh, uh, armor plus one of each of the workbenches. And I'm going to assume it's made, yep, yeah, in their workbench. So, champion workbench. We will need a uh, dark matter. A lot of dark matter, okay. Three stacks of dark matter. Uh, wow, I need three stacks and one. Three stacks plus one. Next up is Dark Steel. One, two, three, four. We are working our way through the armor quite nicely. After Dark Steel comes End Steel. Ooh, we finally get to make the fluxed armor plating. Okay. Oh, dark steel, end steel. And a guardian diode. Mm -hmm. So, that part is done. So, end steel is upgraded. Right, so we've got the flux infused helm, but let me go to the chest. We have the flux infused chest plate, and the flux infused chest plate can be used to make the flux infused jet plate. The flux infused jet plate is used to make the next tier down to stellar. So, Lux. 
fluxed electron plate, so we can make fluxed electron ingots just fine. It's like, actually, have we added fluxed electron plates? Yes, we have. We have added them to the craft. So, uh, we need flux crystals, which we have for days. Let's teach you how to make fluxed plating. Uh, 128, 100, so 256 will be more than enough. So I'll be crafting the plates in the background and making my armor plating. Meanwhile, let's go a step ahead and see how to make the flux infused chest plate. Right click, flux infused jet plate. The flux infused jet plate is used to make stellar armor. The flux infused chest plate is the end of it. So I do need to make the flux infused. So a couple of these, a couple of flux. Lectures. The resonant jetpack finally sees its worth. Um, so this, 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 two cryothium coolant units, one, two, what's crucible, how much do I get for one, two, and we need, oh, we need three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It looks like 16 will go in for that. So two cryothium coolant units. Fluxed. Thrusters, uh, we'll worry about that in a sec. Armored resonant flux pack. Oh, wait, 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 is resonant flux pack? Yeah, that's an EMC thing. Resonant flux pack armored. So, yeah, I don't even need to worry about that. Um, we'll just trash this one because why not? Um, so, I have everything except the fluxed thrusters. Resonant thruster, so I need more fluxed armor. In fact, I could just use the excess of fluxed armor plating I have made. Resonant thruster requires a pneumatic dynamo. Is that? Newsomatic dynamo, yes. Uh, I need to make two of them. Can I be making two of these? One. I like the old backup drum of a redstone. So I have the resonant thrusters, and I need four glowstone elevation units. So let's melt down some glowstone, and that should see me through to completion for that. While that's happening, I can take my plating and upgrade these. And I'll say this, one of my favorite armor sets in um, 1.7.10, Infinity Evolved mod pack, was the flux infused armor set. I absolutely loved it one of my favorites of all time. So we have flux infused armor. 
<coughs> we have two of our glowstone elevation units, three and All right, speed you up. Have more power, more power. Everyone needs more power. Flux thruster one, flux thruster two. You go in there and Lux infused jet plate. Now the downside to this is very quickly I'll be getting rid of my flux infused jet plate for higher tiers of armor. Um, so I need to mash through Stella. I'll need to make some. And the resonators or vile witch, I can probably do that. Stella will lead to red matter. Red matter will lead to fusion crafting for the ultimate chest. But I could just make it. I could just pull it out. Ultimate leads to wyvern. Wyvern leads to uh, white and chest plate leads to gem, but I don't need to do that. I can just pull gem out and it says fly in forbidden places while wearing this item. So that is what I'm going to do. <coughs> I'm going to work my way up to be able to fly in the forbidden places. So Stella Ally Sentient Ender, so we need Soul Vial. I get four soul vials and find four witches. Hello. One. Oh, two, three. Way to spawn some new things. Witches. Oh, there we go. I saw the hat. Four. Head back to spawn. So I needed, was it Sentient Ender? Ender Resonator in the Soul Binder. Ah, uh, Soul Binder. Thankfully, this one is fast. There we go, those are the resonators I needed. Ah, uh, was it Stella? Stella Alloy. One, two, three, four. And, oh, pardon me, our short lived armor. After Stella comes Red Matter. After red matter comes ultimate materials and nether stars. Oh, but we don't need to do that because we can just pull them out directly. Oh, 
um, ultimate boots. I don't want ultimate boots. Ultimate boots themselves. Um, ultimate boots. Chest. Ah, ultimate helm. There we go. Then with ultimate helmet, we fusion craft up to wyvern. I need four wyvern energy cores. I need draconian blocks. Oh wow, X time of creation draconium has uh <laughs> That's an EMC value, I never even realized that. <laughs> That's kind of broken. Um, yeah, Draconian blocks. Uh, Wyvencore, Nether Star. So let's work out the relative pieces for, and then, like, so Nether Stars are split into two. You're split into four, one, one. Uh, can I just do you in Glider mode inactive active inactive 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 flex in glider mode right draconian block draconian block draconian block draconian block uh one core one core nether star is it just a one nether star? Is it just the one nether star? The two. One color where you got there it is, nether star. Nether star. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Okay. Oh my go, start. <coughs> and of course the upgrade for Wyvern is the gem, and we can cheese the gem because we could just pull it straight out. So, unfortunately, we've been bypassing the Draconic Evolution armor stage. Sad, sad days. Um, but we will get to keep it. Um, we will get to keep it to one side. Same again when we upgrade the gem to the Draconic. The tier after Draconic. Actually, no, we won't get to keep the Draconic. We'll be going into the overloaded then. Oh, printed circuit boards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then, oh, infinity, oh yeah, and then that's it. There's nothing beyond infinity. Nothing beyond infinity. I wonder, we might, no, no, we probably can't get, yeah, do you know what? We might be able to get it done. Maybe I should extend it, stay this episode to finish off the armor crafting. And make some utterly broken armor. I just have to say bye bye to my poor existing armor. Oh yeah, I'm getting excited. We're going down the armor rabbit hole. So if we have a look, it is Wyvern Gem Draconic, and then Infinity Armor all the way down here after overloaded multi-armor. But of course I started Draconic Evolution without even uh, creating the um, Draconic manual, so... Alright, you will stay in the side. I want gem... armor from Project E. And then gem armor will be upgraded. Ooh, awakened draconium. So we haven't yet made awakened draconium. Uh, you make it in block form, fusion crafting, draconic core, dragon heart. So I need more. No, I won't. I only need one dragon heart, and I can duplicate them from there. So one, two, three, four, five, six draconic cores and one dragon heart.
six and a dragon heart. And is it a uh, draconian block that I use? Nope, I have no freaking clue what I use. Um, awaken draconian block. Uh, oh, four draconian blocks. Ha <laughs> ha! Foiled. There we go. And that will take a while to do. So, I kind of really wanted to finish off the armor crafting this episode, but uh, with the amount of time this will take, and then I need to take it, duplicate it, get all the items put together, probably not worth it. However, we have hammered through a huge chunk of the armor tab this episode. Uh, you've got to see some boron nitride um, solution crafting with the nuclear craft mod. So you got to see a bit of how that worked out. Um, effectively the way I solve problems like that is by starting at the very top and working backwards. Um, at least it's, it's to me my most effective solution. Um, <coughs> because I know that I need a pressurizer. I need the crystallizer to create the hexagonal boron nitride to put into the pressurizer. I need the chemical reactor to create uh, the um, boron nitride solution from the uh, borite and the ammonia. And then from the ammonia line, I know hydrogen, nitrogen, and then I can get hydrogen from water and nitrogen from the collector from the air. And then here I need water and um, the uh, borite or whatever it is, it's just a mixture of hydrogen and the molten boron and hydrogen again electrolyzing water is just working through the steps from beginning to end and uh, branching out your machines as needed. So thank you very much for watching and next episode we will dive into creating infinity armor which will be fun probably. If I, um, Ah, uh, the infinity armor. So, infinity armor requires infinity ingots we can do, crystal matrix blocks we can do, neutronium ingots we can do, so nothing special. And the multi chest plate uh, requires crystal tine ingots which we can duplicate, diamond lattices which we can duplicate, and printed circuit boards. Um, <coughs> unassembled PCBs I can make in the assembly machine from assembled PCBs. So I can assembly machine unassembled PCBs instead of having to like etching acid them and stuff. Yeah, it looks like I can uh, just take an empty PCB direct from the pressure chamber, put it into my assembly line to create the unassembled PCB, and then mix that with transistors and capacitors to create the printed circuit board. So I shouldn't have any waiting required for that. I can do that pretty quickly and pretty quite painlessly. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, ideas, or suggestions on what you've seen this episode, anything I've done that you wouldn't do, anything that you would do better, anything that I have done better that you would have done differently, please let me know. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. And I don't know why. Why do I end every episode on here? I guess I just like it. This is my sibling platform. Uh, if you want to be notified when new videos go out, hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time when we dive into finishing off the armor. And then probably just doing even more quests. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.